Hello, I'm Gracie. Hello. Can you tell the world who you are and what you do? My name is Ellie Whale. I'm 18 and I'm a downhill mountain biker from Australia. It is so crazy out there. Talk us through um, how a woman handles <laughs> the world. Well, uh, it's super slippery out here today and I guess you just have to have as much fun as you can out there in the mud and I guess try to keep your hair not free but mine's pretty dreadlocked at the moment but it's really fun and I'm getting down so I guess that's all you can ask for. Talk us through your position, how influential are you in the Downey Mountain Park as a woman? Well there aren't many girls at the moment I guess. Well, this race there are quite a few, but back where I live there aren't many, so I guess I'm trying to do a bit of coaching on the sidelines and influence as many girls as possible because it'd be awesome to have a really uh, high presence of women in the sport. Give us some key points or I should more women follow you. It's awesome fun, you make so many great friends and I guess I really like working with all the staff and the team and it's a really great feeling to represent your country in a sport that I love. And Dora's a really tough track. Yeah. Talk us through it. And Dora's a really <laughs> tough track. Well, uh, during track walk, I, I was super excited because it looks like the kind of tracks that I enjoy riding. Super steep. Uh, you got the top section, which has a few big jumps, lots of roots, lots of rocks, and then you head into the super, super steep stuff before you uh, cross the line down in the town. How fast are you riding? How fast? Yeah. Ah, I'm not sure where the speed trap is, but I'd say pretty fast pumps. Some riders probably get up to 60, 70 k's an hour. Um, the talk about um, your your day-to-day -day routine in regarding facials. <laughs> Does that exist? Uh, well, I guess races like these, you try to keep the routine as normal as possible, but. Lots of showers, you get super, super muddy. Got to pack a hairbrush. Yeah. No body scrubs. Uh, no. Um, no. <laughs> you got to go gentle when you get uh, scratches like this one. But can we talk about um, uh, body scrub and what you do? No, do you use any? I use a Frank body scrub. It's a coffee-based uh, scrub, and it's awesome to get the blood flowing and all that good stuff. Right. Yeah, and then when I'm not in the shower scrubbing away all that dirt, I wear my pink Magneto Industries top. Oh, that's good. Hi, I'm Gracie Ockermeister. Can you tell the world who you are and what you do? Uh, I'm Tegan Malloy and I'm from Australia and I'm a downhill mountain bike rider. How influential are you in downhill? Uh, I guess in Australia I'd like to think I encourage quite a few girls to ride and have a go. Your highlights? Um, definitely racing world championships last year was one of my highlights in getting the crown of world champion and then um, definitely this year making the Australian team as a first year elite rider was pretty cool. Wow. Can we talk about Andorra, the track, and um, what are you expecting this week? Uh, Andorra is a really awesome place. It's the first time I've been here. Um, there's lots of cool cool trails around and the World Cup downhill track is pretty awesome. The rain this weekend might make it interesting but I haven't been out for practice yet today so I'm looking forward to seeing how it's holding up. Are you favourable in the wet conditions? Um, I'd sort of prefer dry conditions just because at home we don't ride a lot in the wet compared to over here but yeah looking forward to giving it a go. Um, from a female perspective, let's talk about your personal style. Um, off the bike, on the bike? No. Oh, off the bike, I guess I run a pretty casual style, um, like shorts, not not really into dresses unless it's a fancy occasion or something, but yeah. Um, any particular brands that you're, you're loyal to? Um, Mink Pink is probably one of my big, big brands, or Living Doll occasionally, yeah. What about um, facial scrubs, body scrubs, it's pretty muddy out there. Yeah, I just so use a Garnier, um, Garnier scrub, right. just one that we can get at home and yeah. yeah. You don't think about too much. Makeup, use uh, makeup at all? I uh, occasionally use BB cream most days actually. And Why? Uh, just to cover up any blemishes or anything on skin. Yeah. Um, how tough is it for a female down your mountain biker amongst the guys? Um, I guess it's sort of tough at first, but everyone's, all the guys and everyone's really supportive of the girls. They think it's pretty cool that you ride down here, so yeah, supportive. 
What do you think is the key factor that would get more sponsors behind women within this sport? Mm, that's a hard one. Um, I guess there's not many girls that do it, so the ones that do do it are usually quite good. The day has come. How are you feeling? Yeah, race day is finally here. I'm feeling pretty good. Had a, some good practice runs this morning, so feeling confident and ready to go. What is that track like? Uh, it's dried out a lot uh, since the last few days, so it's running quite fast now at the moment. Um, just one boggy section, so it'll be interesting to see how it is come race time, but looking forward to it. Um, what's running through your head right now? Uh, I'm just trying to stay relaxed and have a rela rela relaxed approach to the race. That way I, I can ride my best. Do you visualise the track before you get on there? Uh, occasionally I'll run through a few things in my head, yeah. And um, what's one thing that you say before you take off? Uh, I don't really think about much on it, just the track and my run that's about to happen ahead of me. Well, good luck and I'll be watching you. What yeah, yeah, racing in about half an hour now. God, you're looking really relaxed. Yeah, I am. you got to be relaxed. Um, what are you thinking about? What's going through your head? Just hanging out, really. Just here to have fun and ride my bike. Yeah. And whatever happens, happens, really. Um, the track? Is there nothing like this morning? Uh, it's dried out a lot since yesterday. It's, um, yeah, it's super grippy in places. Still a bit sketchy in the woods and that, but it's awesome fun. Do you visualise the track before you go down? Um, personally, I find it makes me a bit nervous, but a lot of riders do like to do that. They find it helps them. Just before you take off out of the gate, <laughs> what do you think? Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you. Good luck. Thank what you. What uh, 11.31. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Um, who are you and what do you do? My name is Joel Willis, and I'm part-time student, part-time mountain bike racer. Wow, what do you think of Andorra's track? Yeah, it's definitely a uh, challenging track, a lot different to anything us Australians have rode before. Uh, yeah, definitely the mud didn't help as well, but uh, it was a big eye-opener and a great experience all in all, so we're all um, pretty stoked. Yeah, I mean, you know, Greg Minar and I did Mr. Atherton this morning are saying it's a tough track. Yeah, for sure. What's been your highlight of the whole week? Um, it's been an awesome trip all in all, like we're in the Pyrenees mountains or whatever, like I've never been to Europe before so it's awesome scenery. The track was, was awesome, like it definitely was scary to ride which I don't really like but um, <laughs> yeah, it, was a, it was awesome just hanging out with the Australian team and everything all in all was, was a great experience so yeah, thankful to all the coaches and everyone else. Hello. Thank you. Gracias. How um, much respect do you have for the women doing this? Sport? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, a lot of respect. Like I'm scared enough, let alone I, I guess they they are probably less scared than me. But yeah, it's pretty impressive them uh, those guys being able to those girls being able to stick it to us a little bit. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, I'm, I'm Gracie, and I'm the first woman in the world to put a world champion on the catwalk. Okay. And do you know who that was? Ah, uh, no. Greg Minard. Oh, okay. Yeah, in London. So <coughs> I live here, this is my world. I normally ride that track on my ass. Yeah, okay. It's pretty terrifying. Yeah, so. for sure. Um, but what year was it when you put Greg on, on, the, on the catwalk? Yeah. It was uh, 2014, Samuel L. Jackson uh, won for the boys. Yeah, okay. If you go on sportsstylefashion.com, you'll see. Cheers. Um, how are you finding this track? Yeah, track's pretty gnarly, eh? Uh, today, sort of dried up a bit, which was good for racing. Uh, seating went well. It was pissing down rain the whole time, which made the track pretty horrendous, but it dried up and that's all that counts sort of thing. And um, you said something to me before. Um, one of the coaches said to me yesterday, just doing this track and making it without crashing is an achievement in itself. Yeah, uh, yeah, the track's pretty hard. Like it's probably the steepest and readiest track I've ever ridden. So that's a pretty eye opener. So yeah. Going across that bridge and in that sharp corner, like how do you find taking that? Yeah, well, I sort of take it pretty slow. I sort of, <laughs> I'd rather take that slow and then crash on it. So that's how I get through it.